We're joined by Hawk the head coach Daniel Santos Atkinson and uh, coach not the way you wanted the day to go but just uh, an opening statement on what you feel like happened today. Uh, yeah, so uh, first I just want to say how proud I, how proud I am of this team and the way they came out uh, this tournament and the effort they gave the energy that they gave to each other and how they pushed uh, throughout this tournament and, and making the most of our season. Uh, today, we, we knew rebounding was a, was, a, a, was a key for Delaware. They are an incredible rebounding team. Uh, as, I, as I mentioned before, they rebound almost 50% offensively of their, of their misses. And when you have a team doing that, A, it allows them uh, second chance opportunities, but it also puts you, in a, puts you in a position to foul and send them to the free throw line. Uh, so we knew rebounding was going to be very, very key for us. We allowed some things that that were out of our control uh, to, to affect us throughout the game. And, and we had come a long way throughout that, throughout that process. And so, uh, again, proud of the way this team worked and, and how they came out, how they played yesterday. Uh, and, and we had a lot of people competing today. Delaware is, Delaware is a great team. Uh, and we knew we had to come out here, take care of the rebounds and, and play really, really well offensively uh, to have the success we wanted to see. First question to Max, go ahead, Max. Hey, Coach, Max Sacco. Uh, it's been a pleasure to cover you all season, but in the end, you guys are picked 10. You finish 50, make it all the way to the semifinals. What does that mean for you, I guess, now in the end, you proved, I guess, a lot of people wrong? Yeah, and coming into this season, we, we, we knew that we were not a 10th place team. We knew the potential of this team, not only that we weren't a 10th place team, but we were going to work hard enough to not be a 10th place team. And, and we knew that about that team. And so we came in with a chip on our shoulder, we came in wanting, as you mentioned, to prove people wrong. And I, and I do think we did that. Uh, you always want more as a competitor. You always want to, to, to continue to, to push as much as you can uh, at the end of, a, an, end of a tournament, there's only one winner. Uh, and so again, proud of the way the girls fought, not just in this tournament, but throughout the year, the adversity that we faced throughout the year, we, we hit it head on and, and there was a lot of growth uh, throughout the year and a lot of wins that didn't show up in the win column. And so for us, we want to continue to, to improve on that. We want to continue to grow from that, uh, rolling into next year uh, and continuing to work to, to build a championship program at Hofstra. Go ahead, Tim. Hey coach, Tim Crowley, WRHU. Congrats on an awesome season. After two years where this development seems to be almost ahead of schedule, what are some of the priorities going to be like going into your third season? Uh, for us, we've got to continue to develop not only uh, individually as a team, but also developing uh, uh, fundamentally on both ends of the floor. And so individually, we're going to continue to work on our individual skills and our player development. Uh, and then fundamentally, offensively and defensively, that's got to be the foundation of where we grow. Uh, our fundamentals, I'm a, I'm a big time fundamental coach, uh, and offensively and defensively, we've got to continue to, to grow from there. Um, once we have that, we're going to continue to, to learn how to compete. Uh, like I said, this team has come so far in how they compete, um, but there's still room to grow. There's always room to grow. So how we compete each and every day, not just when the lights are on, but every single day in practice is going to help us grow as a team and, and help us continue to get better. Next question, Kayla, go ahead, Kayla. Hi, Coach. Kale McKechnie here, WRHU. And just as Max and Tim both said, congrats on an amazing season. And it's been a pleasure to watch you guys this entire season. As you just mentioned, Pride looking for an optimistic future here with you going into your third season. But looking back at the grand scope of this season, what are some of your biggest takeaways from what this season had to bring? Uh, that we've got a group of players that are all in and on board with what it is that we want to do in this program. Uh, we've got a great group. I've, I've been saying it since I got here. You never know what you're going to come into as a new coach. Uh, and I was very, very fortunate to have a group of players, uh, regardless of the outcome on the floor, they were still all in, they were still on board and they were still ready and looking to fight each and every day we stepped out on that floor. Um, and so really appreciative of that as we continue to grow. And, and throughout that year, that was one of the things that helped us maintain it. And one of the things that helped us uh, have some success that we had this season. Uh, we also, as I mentioned, the, the mental and the, and the physical toughness of this team grew. That was a key for us this season and how we get mentally tougher and how we get physically tougher. Uh, that was an area of growth that, that we were proud of. Um, and again, and individually, we, we learned how to uh, play with confidence. Uh, 
Uh, we've got players that that have the potential. We talked about it all the time, uh, off, whether it's offensively or defensively, have a lot of potential individually. And I think this year they were able to, to see some of that come to pass. And as that continued to grow and develop, they continued, they started to play with confidence. And when we have players on our team playing with confidence, uh, you see what you saw yesterday. We've got four, four players in double figures. We've got one with nine rebounds and, and shooting great percentages. And so the confidence that this team started to play with throughout the year was, was another key uh, for us and another area that helped us in our growth. Anything else for you? All right, Danielle, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for the following season, Coach. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you guys for joining us.